Hello and welcome to the third day of the HLF video blog. I'm Marianne Freiberger. And I'm Rachel Thomas. Today we've got our first interview with a laureate. Whitfield Diffie will tell us all about his work and give some brilliant advice for young researchers. We also talked to Beate Spiegel of the Klaus Schirer Foundation about their support for the Heidelberg Laureate Forum. And we find out more about young researchers and their experience at the HLF. Let's go! Would you please like to start by introducing yourself? My name is Woodfield Diffie. I'm an aging cryptographer. I've seen you at quite a few HLFs before. So what is it that you like about the Heidelberg Laureate Forum? Well, what's not to like? At, once, at one level, they fly me here. They put me up in beautiful style. They feed me very well. I gain three kilos while I'm here. Uh, but in sort of serious terms, I haven't done very much work yet for the, for the HLF. I'm putting on a performance the first time this year. Uh, but I get the main thing for me is getting to talk to various people, largely laureates, but, but some of the young scholars are fantastic. And so it's getting to meet people and talk to people that appeals to me. Mm -hmm. Now, you won a Turing Award in 2015, I think? Well, it's the 2015 Turing Award, but it's awarded, it's announced and maybe figured out in 2016. Right, okay. So, Together with Martin Herman? Yes. And it, it was for your work on the field of cryptography. So yes. I was wondering if you can tell us in one or two sentences, what is the biggest challenge in cry cryptography today? maybe the same thing it was 50 years ago, which is having a solid theory in which you can prove that cryptographic systems are secure. Like every mathematician who went into cryptography, I thought, oh, I'm going to clean this field up. We're going to have, you know, and it's vastly harder than any of us estimated, and it's not doing. Do you have any advice for the young researchers that are attending this conference from all around the world? There are two styles. And so there are people like Kasha Birkar, who didn't come this year, who go after old hard problems, or Andrew Wiles, and solve them, because they're very smart. Right? But if you apply more imagination, maybe, than outright smart, right? <laughs> the easiest thing to do is work on the boundaries of fields, mm -hmm. where, people, where there are new things that people from that field haven't thought about and people from this field haven't thought about. So I think it's sort of looking for the fault lines <laughs> in intellect that it makes is the easiest way to pick up low-hanging fruit. And here's my last question, which actually comes from a young researcher that we talked to. And he would like to know, what is it that has inspired you? And what have you done differently to be as successful as you are? Somebody once said to me, it's smarter to be lucky than it is lucky to be smart. <laughs> and I, I just feel incredibly lucky. If I did one thing for which I sort of deserve credit, it's, it's devoting two years unsupported by anybody else, figuring the cryptography needed to be studied. Nobody wanted to support me to study cryptography. I took off and traveled around and looked for people to talk to and studied documents and so forth. So I put in enough effort, but I describe my career as uh, I did one good hour of work in 1975, and I've been making a living off of it ever since. That's very smart. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Could you please introduce yourself? Sure. My name is Beate Spiegel. I'm the chairperson of the Heidelberg Laureate Forum and also managing director of the Klaus Schirer Foundation. And I work directly with Klaus Schirer to establish both foundations. And can you tell us a little bit more about the relationship between the Klaus Chira Foundation and the Heidelberg Laureate Forum? Yes, Klaus Chira recognized the importance of providing a space where mentors can impart their wisdom to younger minds. And that such a platform did not exist until then for computer scientists and mathematicians. And that's exactly why he founded the foundation. What is the reason for setting up the Heidelberg Laureate Forum? What's, the, what's, what's important to focus on for the Heidelberg Laureate Forum? Our central focus is expanding the enthusiasm for natural sciences, mathematics and computer science. And the HLF 
inspires participants creating ripples that extend beyond this event. I would say use the opportunity to network and exchange with, with each other and everywhere with the laureates and you cannot see where the connection will take you but everyone knows where missed opportunities lead. That's brilliant advice for young researchers. Thank you okay. very much. We're lucky enough to have Martina and Sarah from the HLF team with us to tell us about what's involved in bringing the young researchers to the HLF. Sarah, can you tell us in normal HLF times, what's involved in bringing them here? Well, we have an open call for applications between November and February, where young researchers in mathematics or computer science or a closely related uh, subject can apply to attend uh, from undergraduates, graduate PhDs and postdocs. And at the end of the application phase, 200 young researchers are selected to come and attend the HLF here in Heidelberg. Uh, this year we had, for the last application phase, we had 900 applications and we have 59 nations represented this year. So from right across the world. All yeah. across the world, yeah. A really international inter, uh, international group of young researchers. And one of the most vibrant parts about the HLF is them being here and seeing each other and interacting. So Martina, what are you doing this year to try and make that interaction possible and really bring them into this digital HLF? Yeah, one of the program points that we're trying to have this year, that we're going to have this year, is the winner to the world. So we're really trying to focus on the international crowd that we're having and try to really show what are the countries that the, the participants of the HLF are coming from, what are, you know, the what kind of food do they eat there, what is their cultural difference towards one another, and, and what is the, yeah, the thing that makes their country um, unique. And yeah, to bring everybody together to really show how diverse we are and um, the HLF is. And I think that's the most important in part to really show all the participants to increase the interaction amongst the other people and that's nice yeah absolutely yeah. do you have any final words of advice for the young researchers that are attending this year yeah yeah just engage connect with the community connect connect with uh, the HL participants try to be active and connect with the laureates try to learn and inspire one another yeah thank you very much have a nice day thank, thank you, you. So, hello Maritania, it's very nice to see you. Could you please start by introducing yourself, who you are and where you're from and what you do? Uh, my name is Maritania Silvero, I'm a mathematician, I'm a Spanish. And I got my PhD in 2016 and currently I am a postdoctoral researcher at the Faculty of Mathematics of the University of Seville in Spain. And my research area is algebraic topology and more precisely, not theory. So that's it. <laughs> Can you tell us just a little bit about knot theory? In knot theory, we study mathematical knots. So if you want to think of a mathematical knot, you can imagine that you have a strand, a piece of a strand that you tie and then you glue their endpoints together. So what you get is an idea of what is a mathematical knot. So uh, what we study is the deformations you can do to this strand. You can either stretch it, you can twist it, you can do whatever you want, but you cannot cut. Cutting is forbidden, okay? So uh, in our theory, we study those deformations and in a more mathematical language, we can say that we study the deformations of the space of dimension one view in the space of three dimensions. So that is not theory. Uh, in brief words. <laughs> well, that was very good. Thank you very much. What have you been enjoying in the first day of the HLF so far? Oh, uh, yesterday I enjoyed a lot uh, meeting the, the laureates. Uh, I had the possibility not just to listen to their wonderful conferences, but also to discuss directly with them in those small groups, uh, asking them questions, uh, listening to their advice, and I think that for a young scientific as me, that is a dream come true. And also I had the chance to, to meet other young researchers from other parts of the world, uh, working in different things, but connected all of them in some ways. And, and I had the possibility uh, for, uh, to have this networking with them. 
And well, we will see how it evolves this week, but I think that many collaborations can arise for these from the conference, from the H. Heidelberg Laureate meeting. And I'm really grateful to organizers for that. So good, my experience has been very good. <laughs> so um, in terms of the questions that you would like to ask of laureates that you have either already have the chance to ask or that you will ask, what, what kind of questions are there? What is your most burning question that you had before you came to the HLF? For me, uh, having in front of you, virtually in front of you, uh, a laureate and having the opportunity of asking them something, I go less about, about inspiration, about creativity. How does creativity play a role in their, in their work? And um, how, where do this inspiration, where does this inspiration come from? Where do they find that? Um, yes, I'm, I want to listen to their answers about that. Okay, well, thank you very much. Okay, so thank you very much and thank you to, to our for organization because it's been wonderful. It is online <laughs> and, and everything is like as if, I mean, not as in person, but most much better than one could expect. Well, thank you for talking to us and I hope you enjoy the rest of the forum. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>It was really interesting to hear from Martina and Sara about how they bring young researchers to the HLF every year and to get a sneak preview of Wednesday's Windows to the World session. And it was fantastic to hear from Mara Tania about her experience as a young researcher at the HLF. We might not be together in person, but we're finding new and exciting ways to connect. We hope you're enjoying the HLF and we'll see you tomorrow with more interviews with laureates. Bye! Bye.